Previously, Who's gonna lie this time? Dragon Prince. We have to do something. As in being the real prince that he is, the MVP of the He's episode. Alive. Hopefully there's no doubt from this point on that Rayla can be trusted, right? We've established that. Chapter 7, The Dagger and the Wolf. Music is so beautiful. I love this theme. Ez, you should really try to sleep. I'm... I'm... <laughs> oh, God. I'm fine. Oh, he's sick. This should keep us full for a day. And I found these for you. Ancient Zadian cure for the common sniffles. Mm, nope. They don't go in your mouth. Oh, no. Uh, you've got to stuff them up your nose. Oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Why did my mind go there so quickly? Whatever works. <laughs> How's the egg doing? We gotta find help. Where do you take a sick dragon egg? Oh, nice. Soren's hunting party. And Claudia's hunting party. Step Prince's training shirt. It's so dirty. <laughs> yeah. He spends most of his training falling in the mud. <laughs> More like the misstep prince. <laughs> uh... And that was the moment Claudia realized she wants Soren to die. You know, because he trips and falls a lot. We got it. <laughs> oh no, the joke was clear. Right. <laughs> We found the trick. Good, I hope they catch up with them quickly. And they lost the trail. Oh no! Damn it. There it is, a town. Maybe we can find help. Okay, sure. We might find a dragon egg expert, but we will definitely find a bunch of elf-hating humans. Right. This might be interesting because this is the first time we're going to see a village or anything outside of like the kingdom, the lodge, and the wilderness. Get ready to meet Human Rayla! Once I pair my disguise with my perfect human impression, this should the be illusion good. will be complete. Greetings, fellow humans, human fellas. Same accent. I sure do like hanging out with other humans and talking about things like money and starting wars. This part makes absolutely no sense because where did Rayla go? She just disappeared? That's pretty good actually. Totally, my good human friend. Bring Stop saying in. human so much and you, you're, you're, you're alright. Uh, Maybe don't do that. Hand disguise. Just walking into town without a care in the world, despite my sub-century life expectancy. Shh, that's the spirit! I wait Who's this guy? to see any challenger here with nothing but my dagger. Is this what town living is like? Maybe you? What is it with these shows and people not being able to keep a low profile? Nice. That was awesome. I certainly hope that wasn't your biggest sword. <laughs> oh. If that blade can cut through a steel sword like it was butter, would you say it could cut through pretty much anything? Not just pretty much. It can cut through anything. My wrist binding. Nice, good thinking. So are they setting up this guy as a character, or is this just setting up the, the magical weapons? Oh, I know a tracking spell, but first I need something from the princes. If I fail, I don't know what dad will do to me. And I'm already failing at step one, never mind... Never mind what? Oh, it's Rayla's hair. You said that something works. like spitter toenails. Yeah. We'll find Callum and Ezrin wherever we find that vile, bloodthirsty elven assassin. Cute bright though. Nice. I like Soren and Claudia together. It's a nice pair. It's exciting that they're out in the world. They have that cool sibling dynamic where even though they're sort of at odds, you can tell they really care about each other on some level. So it's going to make it extra interesting when they're, when they come into conflict over what to do about the kids and the egg and Rayla. Another cool thing is that, you know, despite all this knowledge they have about their respective skills and how much experience they've had in life and how much they've seen, they're still just kids. Like Soren's worried about what daddy thinks, you know, like, oh no, dad's going to kill me. They're sort of unequipped for this mission. You know, they're, they're not mature enough. So this is a great journey for them as well. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen when everything sort of intersects. I hope they find them soon. Do you think this is some kind of animal doctor? I think so. Or a dating service for pets? Probably, Probably an not. animal doctor. Right. But that's a good idea. Right, Bate? 
<laughs> Bates lonely. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can do for that poor creature. Mm. Ouch. What? Oh, no, 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 no. He looks angry. He's fine. What happened to you, little sweetie? <laughs> uh, you saw cute. something really scary, didn't you? A little bit too cute. This one ran away up the cursed caldera. Whatever she saw, she's lucky it only scared her. So two things that come out of this. One, it seems like Ezrin is some sort of animal whisperer. I'm guessing that he's going to be the dragon rider. <laughs> Does that make sense? He's going to be like the dragon guy, the dragon boy. He's going to ride the dragon. <laughs> Why is this so hard to articulate? He's going to be in charge of the dragon, riding it. <laughs> Damn it. You know what I mean? The dragon prince. I just got it. He is the Dragon Prince. That's what that means. It's a double, double meaning. Also, because he talked about the incident with the horse, that means we're definitely going to go to... What do you call it? Coldwater Creek? That's the next thing in the adventure, probably. This guy's not so tough now. Damn, she's so athletic. That's crazy. Was that a Batman riff? Batman reference. A friend of ours has a problem. Jofus. Your friend's name is Jofus? It's Jofus. A real name. Is this guy really in a position to be judging names in this fantasy world of dragons and elves? And Virins? Callum, now that's a strange name. No one's named Callum. And Claudia, I mean... <sighs> Jofus sounds like a cool name. I'm gonna name my kids Jofus. I'm gonna name my wife Jofus. Our friend, Jofus, has an egg. An, an uh, animal egg. Right, as opposed to a human egg. <laughs> Jofus and his human egg. One time he dropped it into an icy lake for several minutes. <clears throat> Anywho. Uh, sorry, <sighs> what was that? He dropped it into an icy lake. Uh, Joseph. Jo uh, jo Jofus. Jofus. Jofus did. There you go. This was jo Jofus. Right. The egg is colder and it doesn't glow like it used to. Wait. <laughs> a glowing egg? This is going well for everyone. I want to help, but I won't be able to unless you tell me what's really going on. This guy likes animals, so you can trust him. I promise you, I'm not going to get you in trouble. I'm convinced. <sighs> wow, I love, I love how it's up to Ezra and everyone looks at him for the decision. I just want to borrow your blade to cut this. Oh, you just want to borrow it. I feel like it's too easy. It's not going to work. Ah! Oh no, her glove. You just revealed yourself. I knew it. She can't keep a low profile. I'm just a simple human girl who likes the human things, like bread and complaining all the time. <laughs> oh. Fair, fair. Both of those are good. Fine, I'm an elf. <laughs> Damn, this guy never had a chance. Calm down, this will only take a second. Nah. <laughs> yeah, it's too easy. I'm not going to hurt you. And I'm not going to steal from you either. Real is so nice. It's not surprising she gave the knife back, but I kind of wish she kept it because it's awesome. I'm trying to think how is this wrapping thing going to get resolved? I mean, she's obviously not going to kill Ezrin. Ezrin's not going to die because he has to become the dragon prince, but it's not going to be as simple as cutting it off. There's going to be something else involved. I just need one more thing for the tracking spell. Hmm. Special rocks, magic twig, spider juice. This way. You're kidding, right? <laughs> if only... Uh, I work so muscular. <laughs> I'll do what I can. I'm afraid it's dying. Have you tried sitting on it? There has to be something you can do. Anything. Sit on it. <laughs> I'm hesitant to tell you about this because it might be incredibly dangerous. It was a miracle that happened a few years ago, but it happened on the cursed Cold Water Creek. Oh. Two years I found her in the woods when she was just a little cub. What are you doing alone in the woods? Somehow she got herself caught in a hunter's trap. I know you're hurting. I hope it works out better for this girl and this dog. Can we play now? Moving on. We have too many mouths to feed already. Oh no. Putting her down now is an act of kindness. No! I took her where no one would follow us. That's when it happened. Is that an elf? She's perfect. An elf healer? I see, so maybe she can help the egg. Still think magic is creepy and gross?
Oh, it's the, uh, it's the fairies from Zelda. Listen, Listen. if they die, they get an automatic revive. All we have to do now is climb to the top of the tallest mountain in Catalus. Would that be the cursed calde caldera? The healer lives up there. The cursed caldera. Please tell me it's named that because it was discovered by the great explorer, Sir Phineas Cursed. Well, actually, it's because it's infested with horrible monsters who- Yeah, no, I know. There she is! She's an elf! I don't know what to think about this dude because he was introduced as like a cool character. He had that awesome fight and he has this great knife, but he just turned into a snitch. Is this his arc? His character stock was soaring in the beginning. It just plummeted. He's just a snitch now. Is she wielding a broom? Forget it. No point following them up there. They'll never make it out alive. Hmm. So that episode felt less important story-wise, but it did set up a bunch of things. Like, we got to see the magical weapon, the dagger. We got introduced to the guy. I don't know if that'll be important later. It set up the journey for the cursed caldera, aka Coldwater Creek. And we got Claudia and Sorin on the road together. That's one of the things I'm most interested about. She mentioned the tallest mountain. I'm hoping that that's the cursed caldera. Because that'd be really cool if they, like, cross paths. But we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Before the video ends, I have to give a very, very special thank you to all my patrons for all the love and support. Right now, I'm working on making early access earlier. My plan is, in the next week or two weeks, to have videos be one week ahead on Patreon. And also, for those of you who don't know, right now we're doing the rewatch of Avatar The Last Airbender on Patreon. So check that out if you're interested. But today, a very special thank you goes to King Bastion for joining the top tier. Thank you to you and to all my patrons for the constant love and support. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Love all you guys for watching. And I'll see you very soon for the next episode of Dragon Prince or Full Metal Alchemist, or both.